Hi, my name is Eleanor Stoddard. I'm the educator here at San Felipe de Austin State Historic Site. Today we are discussing militias in Austin's colony. Now, along with creating towns and granting land, Mexican law provided for the creation of local militias. The Constitution of Cuila y Tejas provided that the civic militia would be established in all towns of the state and that no males could decline the required service when the government called the militia to muster. On February 18, 1823, Stephen F. Austin received authorization to organize the colonists into a body of national militia. This date is honored as the founding date of the Texas military and the later 141st United States Infantry Regiment. Stephen F. Austin organized the colony's militia into a battalion of five companies in 1824. The first three companies were for the upper, middle, and lower brasses. The remaining two companies were for the Colorado River settlements. The second, second company was from the San Felipe area. In the elections at San Felipe on June 22, 1824, Horatio Creesman was elected captain and Seth Ingram as first lieutenant. Both were surveyors. The other two lieutenants, James Baird and John McCroskey, were tanners and saddlers. Militias in Mexican Texas were organized with the intent of defending the area from hostile native tribes, criminals, and filibusters. In 1826, the militias of Austin's colony and Green DeWitt's colony were mustered to defeat the Fredonian Rebellion. The Fredonian Rebellion, which lasted from December 21, 1826 to January 23, 1827, was an early attempt by Anglo colonists in Texas to declare independence from Mexico. It was led by Empresario Hayden Edwards, who created the Republic of Fredonia near Nacogdoches. Though Edwards originally had support from some of the nearby Cherokee, Stephen F. Austin and Mexican officials convinced them to withdraw their support. The rebellion didn't last long, as over 200 Mexican soldiers from San Antonio, 275 Texian militia members, marched in Nacogdoches to restore order. Edwards and many of his followers fled to the United States. The rebellion led to Mexican President Guadalupe Victoria increasing the number of military troops in Texas. Some historians consider the Fredonian Rebellion to be the beginning of the Texas Revolution. Now, in the uh, description of this video, you'll see a link to a lesson plan, which includes some activities and some primary documents for you to analyze. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you again next time.